Good morning everyone, how you doing? Welcome to another vlog. Um, in this vlog you're going to see something just a little bit different. Um, I've decided to make this video to be retro inspired. So you will see me using a retro filter, retro utensils and I even dress in a prairie dress <laughs> to be in themes with the video. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you know what you're going to be watching. So in this video, you're going to see me doing some embroidery. I thought I'd give embroidery a go. And then I made some banana cake. It turns out really good and soft and fluffy, not dry ones. And I did some gardening. If I have time, I will also do Facebook Marketplace um, haul. But I'll show you what I've been getting from Facebook Marketplace. If you enjoy the video, let's give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you do. Okay, have a good day guys. Bye! been waiting for this bunch of bananas to ripen for two reasons I need to freeze some for future smoothies and today I'm making banana bread so that's what I'm doing now I'm mashing three medium-sized bananas this time I decided to add some brown sugar because my banana wasn't ripe enough for a banana cake I'm keeping it in the fridge for now until I'm ready to bake now I'm ready to bake, I decided to chop my walnut because I couldn't find the pre-chopped one in the supermarket that I went to. For this banana cake, you need to use one and a half cup of plain flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. And one teaspoon of baking soda. The next step is to mix all these dry ingredients together so that the baking powder and soda are evenly distributed. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. So you want to get your mashed banana out and to it you want to add half a cup of coconut milk. Please don't be tempted to use coconut cream because the last time I did that my banana cake turned out to be very dense. Now it's time to add one tablespoon of lime juice. I don't have a fresh one, so I had to use the bottled one. And mix them thoroughly. In a mixing bowl, you want to put in half a cup of softened butter. I use Western Star. And I add one cup of custard sugar. And then cream them until the butter turns white. And now add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one egg. Now it's time to add the banana mixture and the flour mix into the mixing bowl. But do this alternately and in small batches at a time. 
and you want your mixer to be on the lowest setting otherwise you end up with a cloud of dust on your face <laughs> now the last step which i almost forgot to do is to mix in your chopped walnuts into the mixture we nearly finished guys it's time now to pour the mixture into a lined loaf pan that you prepared earlier and sprinkle some chopped walnut on top of the batter with the leftover batter i decided to turn them into banana muffins and bake them in 170 degrees celsius oven for 50 minutes after 25 minutes my muffins are ready but the cake is not so i just get the muffins out i cover the muffins right away while they're still hot to prevent the top from drying out after the 50 minutes mark my cakes are done look at how pretty they look they even crack on top like the store-bought one <laughs> i decided to cut myself a piece while they're still warm and have it with my freshly ground coffee that you saw me make earlier this is the softest banana bread i've ever made it's not too sweet it's just right and the reason it's the softest is because i didn't overcook it i think the recipe asked for one hour i think i want to put it for 50 minutes so yeah be careful with how long you cook your banana bread and the coffee is freshly ground this is a really nice at home afternoon tea cheers <laughs> As you saw earlier, I went to Inala for lunch one day, that was about a month ago and while I was there I bought some tropical fruit called longan. I don't know if you know what longan looks like, I'll put a picture up on the screen. And they were the best longan I've ever had so I thought I'd keep the seeds and then try to germinate it and they germinated so now it's time to actually plant them in soil and that's what I'm doing now the following day I decided to plant my habanero chili seedlings that I've been growing from seeds so we can use it in our mangan out beef jerky this is the banana tree that my friend Petra gave me it's about two meters high and at the moment it's just like that so I'm going to put it in that so that's what it looks like guys I'm pretty happy with it I think I found a place where I know I'm not gonna forget whoa it's a little bit unstable I might have to weigh it down with maybe with this pot yeah I'll do that maybe too big <laughs> that one might be in here for now
Good morning everyone, how are you doing? I'm taking you out for my normal morning walk. As you can see, it's a bin day today. Or oh, it's Friday, that's our bin day. Um, it's gonna be 35 degrees today. Um, we are in Brisbane, we've been having heat wave. Um, so I thought I'd better just get my exercise early and then go back to my air-conditioned house. Oh, what a beautiful day. It's going to be a hot one, but right now it's still quite comfortable. And I'm also testing my new mic. I just want to see if it cuts down the traffic noise and the wind. It's a lot of the time when I'm going for a walk, um, I have to mute the sound because it's too loud and I have to put music over. So yeah, I'm just testing it out. And I'm also holding the camera with my selfie stick, which is a little bit embarrassing because when you see people, you can't pretend that you're not filming yourself. Um, but yeah, it's something that I have to get over and get used to. And so far, so good, I think. Anyway. I must miss crocheting so much because I've been doing it for weeks now and this is probably my third beanie that I make this year <laughs> all different colors I really need to learn to make something else enjoy the montage Sunday session time. <laughs> uh, last week I bought some finger lines from market near my work and decided to use it in my margarita. But I didn't realize I ran out of tequila so I had to use gin. And I ended up making margatini. I didn't even know it's a thing. Um, but this recipe is my own. I just made it up. Basically it's the same thing that you use to make margarita. But I added Sprite and finger limes and gin
This week I decided to give embroidery a go. Um, the last time I did embroidery was on a handkerchief back in primary school. I enjoy it back then but I never done it um, as an adult. So um, this is the first time I did it as an adult. Although I'm trying to give you as much information about embroidery in the subtext, um, this is not meant to be a tutorial. So if you want to give it a go, um, there's plenty of really good embroidery tutorial on YouTube. I'm making a pendant here and the embroidery that I'm doing is of a flower called hyacinth. Hi guys, how you doing? Um, on this section of the video, I'm going to show you some bargain that I managed to get through some online shops. It's my favorite secondhand online shop, which is Facebook Marketplace and eBay and AliExpress. They're not secondhand shop, but they're online shop. The first one that I'm going to show you is this little raffia bag. They're really good quality. And I was able to get it for $30. So I'm pretty happy with that. It comes with a shoulder strap and also a crossbody strap. The second bargain that I found is from eBay. You guys know that I went to Singapore. And while I was in Singapore, I saw this toothpick container. I saw this at the restaurant. So um, when I went home, I searched the net for one. And I happened to find one that's like a little souvenir from Singapore. It's got Marina Sand Bay, the Ferris wheel. Anyway, so this is looks like an egg, but it's actually a toothpick holder. How cute is this? So at the moment, I'm just using it as a decoration for Easter because Easter is next weekend, actually. So yeah, this is a good find from eBay. All right, the next find is from Facebook Marketplace. As you know, I'm making this video that's going to be a retro feel. So I was in search of a um, coffee grinder. So I was very specific. I need to for it to look old. And this is very easy to operate. It's quite smooth. And I was able to get this for $20. So I'm pretty happy with it. The next item is not actually secondhand. I got this from AliExpress, um, so it's this wooden and metal measuring cup. Um, so yeah, I've been meaning to get rid of my plastic measuring cup and plastic measuring spoon. So when I found this on AliExpress, I quickly grab it. Oh yeah, that's the measuring cup and this is the measuring spoon. I thought it's pretty cute. Look at this tiny little one. <laughs> so yeah, I've been looking for a replacement for my plastic plunger, coffee plunger. And when I saw this pretty gold one, that was brand new, never been used. And it's actually a Victoria coffee one. I grab it because it's only $10. And for $10, I actually able to get four of these macchiato size mugs that um, we use a lot. Todd's actually really into macchiato right now. So um, yeah, I got four of these, but there's more. <laughs> Not only it comes with the plunger and the mugs, but the lady also gave me this creamer. So I guess it's a manual frother. So that's all the bargain that I can show you. I don't think I have anything else that lying around the house that I haven't shown you. Um, oh yes there is you're wearing it <laughs> um it's the brooch this is what started the whole retro theme video idea 
So I bought this from Facebook Marketplace for ten dollars, no twenty dollars. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And if there's anything that I can link in the description below, I will do so. Like this um, measuring cup and measuring spoon, I'm pretty sure they're still available on AliExpress. Okay, see ya. Bye.